Today I want to show you how I jack up my Victory Cross Country Tour. I'm doing this because the next several videos will require the jack underneath the bike for some sort. So rather than me doing it on all my other videos, I'm going to do it now and uh, we'll just link to it uh, on the other videos. Um, I picked up this uh, jack from the local uh, auto store here in, uh, in Canada and um, it was just a cheap little jack. And as I say, there's many jacks to use, there's many ways of doing this, but this is what I have. So this is what I'm going to use. Now there's an issue. Works great on the Triumph, but with the Victory, there's a little problem. The far back left side jacking point is higher than the other three points on this bike. I'm going to put this underneath the bike and I'm going to show you what I mean. Then what I do is I simply start jacking it up until it touches. I lift up the bike and continue jacking. Now two things happen. Because that point over there on the left hand side is lower, I've only got three points of contact on my bike right now. So it wobbles quite a bit. The other thing, my front tire is currently off the ground. The back tire is still on the ground. The back end has too much weight on it. So what I do is I take the trunk off. As I say, that back left hand jacking point is a little bit higher on the bike than the rest. So what I do is I just take a little three quarter inch one by two or something block of wood and I put it on the front part of the jack that's going to meet that part. So I slide the jack underneath at about a 20 degree angle so the back part of the left arm is underneath the crossover. And with a 20 degree angle, the jack should go right underneath the pivot point or underneath the uh, jacking point. And with the jack at the proper location, again, give it a couple of, tip the bike up. And you can see now, a lot more stable because of that block of wood. Also, both tires are off the ground, front and back, because I've removed the trunk. If I wanted to jack this bike up very high, I would definitely strap it down to the jack. Just because I put the jack underneath the bike doesn't necessarily mean I need both tires off the ground. Sometimes it's just to stand the bike up straight. For instance, I like the bike standing up straight to remove the trunk. It just makes it easier for me rather than at an angle. Um, when I'm putting oil in the engine after an oil change, uh, it's easier to do it when it's standing up straight because that's how you're supposed to check it. The jack is useful for many things rather than just lifting the whole thing off the ground. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.